welcome to Eric and her mom. Today I'm going to be doing my Love Haolam unboxing, but I'm by myself because Erica is at work. So anyway, we'll miss her and we just wish her the best and so she has a super great day. But um, I have not been doing a lot of videos, yes, you know, but um, that's because I haven't been able to get into my kitchen. So the kitchen is finished now. Um, as you can see, the stone is finally done and there's a lot more stone around the kitchen. And in another video, we'll take a look at that. But let's get right to this unboxing. And I don't know which month this is for because we have a September, an August and a September box. So we'll take a look and see which one this is. I did get my boxes and I did open them because I knew there would be like yummy snacks in it and I needed a yummy snack. So yeah, they were great. So I don't, this is actually a surprise to me. I don't know which one it is. So I'm gonna take it apart my scissors. These are Cutco scissors so you can do that and put them back together and it's super fun. All right, so it's gonna be my knife today. And I just want to wish everyone a wonderful, well, not a wonderful, you wouldn't say wonderful, but I'll say it this way. Hug Sameak, Hug Sameak Sukkot. So that means happy Sukkot or happy Feast of Tabernacles. So I hope you are enjoying your season of joy. I know that I am most of the time. It's it's been it's been a very good season, but you know what? We all have our special days where maybe you don't feel so good or maybe you don't you know, especially emotionally feel so good. And I just want to encourage you, if you're having kind of some crummy days, um, just try to busy yourself with something to distract yourself. So let's see what's in here. And I'm sorry, I can't seem to get, I could stand over here and open the box, but maybe I'll just lean it like this. But anyway, and um, I hope that if you're watching us and you were affected by the hurricane, that things are getting better for you. The Hurricane Ian, I think there's another hurricane out there right now going towards Mexico. So we pray all is well. So look at this, wonderful. It says, welcome to the cave. So I loved this particular box. This was all about the cave of the patriarchs. So let's take a look inside here. Um, I was so excited to receive the artwork that came with this this time. Um, this is the cave of the patriarchs and Let's get this open. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Of course, you know our patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and their wives, except for Rebecca. She wasn't, I mean, sorry, Rachel. Rachel wasn't buried there with them, but this is what it looks like today. Of course, it in the time of Abraham, when Abraham purchased the cave, it would have looked like a cave, <laughs> but anyway. So this is, this is, there's a little hanger on the back and this actually goes really well with my new um, backsplash color that I have going on. These colors are perfect for that. That's a peacock, of course, and I wanted a pheasant, but it's a lot easier to find a peacock these days. But anyway, so that's what that looks like. And you could hang this in your home like I have mine, but I have it in my office. And then here's just this little book that you can go through. Um, Travel through time to the cave of the patriarchs. And then it all oh, it's beautiful paintings and photos and so much information. It's actually just a great study to go through this. And you know what, anything that connects you to the land when you're in the diaspora is just so amazing. And um, usually it makes me cry. It makes me cry because I haven't been to Israel 
since 2019. And um, it just seems like so long ago. I can't wait to go back and just get my feet back on the land and find some of these people who make some of these wonderful things. Okay, this, you can't tell, but it's peanut butter, cashew, goji berry brownies. But there, it's not like a chocolate brownie or something like that. Um, it's just, oh, it's kind of coconutty and nutty. And, you know, it reminds me of um, this candy bar I used to have when I, no, it was like a, it was, oh, that's what it was. It was like this long stick thing and it was called a chico stick or chicken on a stick. I don't know if you ever had one of those. I don't know if they still make them, but that's kind of what these taste like. And they're so yummy. Mine are all gone. That's why I couldn't show them to you. I could show you the empty box though. But that's pretty great. All right. And we have Natural Beauty Exfoliating Face Wash. These are great. You just, it goes like right from the box to the shower. It just doesn't even land in my kitchen. And Pomegranate Strawberry Preserves. I didn't eat this, but I can't wait to try it. The reason I didn't eat this <laughs> is because I'm trying to shut, cut, shut, shut down, shut down, cut down the sugar. And you know what? Something says pomegranate, strawberry fruit spread. There's no stopping. I just want to say that. And this beautiful honey. So these wonderful things were in time for, um, not Shavuot, we're in Shavuot right now. I'm so excited. Um, this was for, this wonderful honey was for the Feast of Trumpet, Yom Teruah, the head of the new year, Rosh Kodesh, no, Rosh Hashanah, which is also a Rosh Kodesh, but Rosh Hashanah, whatever name you put on it. Um, this is the honey for the apples to dip the apples in the honey for a sweet new year. So how wonderful is that? And I took this, this is a, like a skin cream, but it's like very, very, very stiff, almost like a cold coconut oil. Um, and I put it by my bed and I just rub my hand in it and I rub my hands and my feet and all of that. So it's right by the bed. And then this, you know, we always get wonderful nuts and mixed nuts or singular nut, not not a nut, but a package of nuts. Um, and that's what this one is, the almond tree. And I just want you to look at those beautiful almond blossoms. I got to see those in Israel one year. Um, we were there at the, just the right time to see these. And so beautiful, so beautiful. I want to show you Z's. You might recognize this fellow. He is the one who made this beautiful plaque of Makbila, the cave of the patriarchs. And so I just want to encourage oh, the Italian synagogue in Jerusalem. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. If you ever wonder why I don't go through these books, you know, like thing by, oh, there's some almond cookies you can make with almonds. It's because I don't want you to know exactly everything that's going on in the box and everything that's, ooh, Arabelle, Ar Arbel, Arbel. Thank you so much, Arbel, for making these wonderful products for us. Because I want you to, I want you to support Israel. I want you to support the people in the land of Israel. And I want you to get your own boxes. Get your own boxes of these wonderful things. Look at these beautiful people. God love them. Anyway, so I want you to subscribe. I want you to enjoy the things that come in these boxes. Whoops, don't worry, it was just paper enjoy the things as much as we do and enjoy the great mitzvah there's a wonderful thing that you can do for the land of israel for the people of israel and oh how wonderful but anyway i just want to say thank you for watching i hope you like and subscribe and we'll get to there's a very special wooden 
object that came in one of my boxes that I want to show you. So I'll work that into my next video. And I just hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful holiday season. And then in a couple months, we'll be having Hanukkah. So yay, woohoo, we, it never ends, does it? What a wonderful creator we have that he is constantly blessing us with times to spend with him. Yay. So anyway, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, we'll get back with Erica next time. Bye-bye.